Commenting code in any language is helpful when you need to describe in plain language what a piece of code does. Now, there's no need to comment everything. That's really, really important. I want to get that out of the way. Uh, but just things that might help others or yourself understand what your code is doing. Now, particularly when you are learning, it's really important that you comment. So you, when you refer back to code, you know exactly what you've done. So there are two types of commenting within PHP. There are single line comments and there are block comments. So a single line comment looks like this. You've probably already seen me do it in the series and you would just write anything after two forward slashes uh, and you can see that my text editor here actually differentiates this within color. So if I was to define a variable, you can see it's a completely different color if I were to go ahead and place this after a comment. So if I were to say in here, define the person's name, obviously you wouldn't comment a line like this because the variable should be descriptive enough to uh, distinguish what's going on here, but you kind of get the idea. Now, when PHP uh, compiles this script, it will ignore all of these comments. And of course it won't interfere with what you are doing. Now, what you can also do is you can place a comment on the same line as long as it's after what you've written. So obviously if you were to define this uh, comment beforehand, this would be included uh, as part of the comment. So really important to define after here. Now, like I said, in this case, the comment is really silly uh, and you wouldn't comment such an obvious line of code, but you get the idea. Comments can be added above, below or in line, uh, but obviously not before. So the other way to create a comment is called a block comment, and these can be useful for different things. Uh, later on, when you start looking maybe at object oriented programming, you'll come across things called doc blocks, and these will use uh, multi line block comments. So these are useful for longer, more descriptive comments and just keeping them neater. Now we've already looked at functions. So let's just say we had a function here, which removed white space. Now, obviously there are functions in PHP or there is a function in PHP that does this. We've already learned about that. That is the trim function. But of course, if you were defining out a function and you need to explain what it was in a couple of lines, maybe you would use a block. Now to do this, we use a forward slash and an asterisk. Now you can see already this has commented out the entire thing because what we need to do is we need to end the block. And you can see my text editor has added this in for me. But in this case, you would do an another asterisk and then a forward slash. So forward slash asterisk to start and an asterisk and a forward slash to end. Now what you can do is in here, you can go ahead and say something like this function takes a string and strips the white space. And obviously if you needed to add more text down here, then now it's obviously much easier. Now what you can also do is you can indent these as well if you want, or what you can do typically, and you'll find this within doc blocks, you can add asterisks here just to make things look a little bit cleaner. So you can see here, this is much nicer way to comment rather than doing something like the following, like so. So it looks a little bit neater. Now it's entirely up to you. It really, really doesn't matter. Uh, but of course, uh, that's an option if you were writing uh, lots of text. So that's pretty much it for comments. While you're learning, these are a great way to comment any code you've written, just to remind yourself exactly what you've done. And it's also a great way to quickly learn more about other people's code, particularly more complex pieces of code, uh, if you at a glance can't immediately understand what it is. Now I'd recommend you use comments throughout this series if you haven't already, uh, just while you're writing code down and when you refer back to it, you'll know exactly what you've done.